what's up y'all what's popping what's cracking it's d about to react to this vid apparently Nicki minaj has dragged jay-z to filth she blasts him for being evil and spiteful so apparently this is uh concerning the whole lil wayne at the super bowl situation i already gave my opinion about this on the other video that's going up today okay um so i said what i have to say i said what i said but let's hear what, what Nikki has to say. I guess people are upset with Jay-Z because they said that he decides who gets to perform at the Super Bowl. Uh, this is this is so stupid. <laughs> but sure, let's, let's hear let's her out. Let's watch. Okay, you guys. So it's getting messy. So Nicki Minaj just dragged Jay-Z. Now, this all started after Kendrick Lamar announced that he would be headlining the 2025 New Orleans Super Bowl halftime show. Now, after this was announced, it started going around that Lil Wayne was snubbed for that position. So shortly after Kendrick Lamar made the announcement, Lil Wayne's manager spoke out and said, confused, disappointed, angry. Bro, niggas can't just have their moment. Let people have their moment when the time comes. Everybody can get their flowers. This is Kendrick's moment. Let that be. Where was this same confusion, disappointment and anger in previous years when the Super Bowl was in Louisiana. Well, y'all, this press then, pull up the receipts. Let me see. Because if you wasn't talking shit back then saying the same thing, shut the fuck up. Because I feel like a lot of people are doing this just because they don't fuck with Kendrick like that. Just because they feel like, oh, and I, I saw a lot of comments about people being like, oh, well, the West Coast already, y'all already had artists at this Super Bowl. And why y'all trying to come? Like, I just feel like that's what it comes down to. And Kendrick said it best. I realize niggas don't like the West Coast and I'm fine with it. <laughs> like that's that's what it's giving. That's what this is giving because this this whole conversation is so it's so stupid. But most of all inspired will never again be in a position or have the goat in a position where we are at the mercy of someone else's decision. We will make the decisions. Now, if you're not aware, Jay-Z's company, Rock Nation and Apple Music collab every year to produce the halftime show at the Super Bowl. So he calls the shot. So Nikki was feeling some type of way. And if you think about it from a business standpoint, the reality is Kendrick is more culturally relevant right now in, in hip hop, okay, than, than Lil Wayne at this moment. Obviously, Lil Wayne is an icon. He's a legend, all of that. Cool. But right now, Kendrick is more relevant and he's going to bring more eyeballs. And that's just that on that. That's just the truth. So Jay-Z is a businessman. He's thinking from a business standpoint. That makes the most sense. And also Kendrick, people are saying that he's going to release his album like in November, December-ish. So more people are going to be watching based on that and they want to see oh is he about to take more shots at drake like it's gonna just bring more attention to the super bowl and i feel like i've heard that the super bowl's ratings have been going down over the years correct me if i'm wrong but i think that's what was stated so they're thinking business wise like this is the best decision for the super bowl business wise so i don't understand why people are all in their feelings and she took sense. to her Twitter and she dragged Jay-Z. So she said, denying a young black man what he rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego, your hatred for oh. Birdman, Drake, and Nicki got you punishing Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, the GOAT. True. Nola was good. Eminem stood firm on having 50 Cent come out. A white man is sad house and team, but it's good for them. Is that a... Is that a hard R, Nikki? Be for fucking real, bro. <laughs> girl, girl. This the is goofy. Well, that end will keep sunning you. And then she said one end took a knee, the other end took the bag. Oh, we ain't ever getting another Beyonce and Nikki collab, ever. He gonna get you ends in line every effing time. Got everything in the world still spiteful and evil, disgusting. Be happy a big, go be effing happy. In rap business and women business, when you got the politicians and the police, you good though. Plus that ugly, laffy, taffy alien. And then she said in What ugly, laffy, taffy alien? Is she talking about Desiree? Wait, you don't know the half of what Lil Wayne has done for me and others. Wayne had Drake and I on his tours with no paper sign. He was on all of my mixtapes with no Okay, paper that's your relationship this with him. This has literally changed the face of hip hop. The hair too, if you know, you know. He inspired so many to tap their faces and get locks. Inspired your face to want to be a great good. MC. 
He never was in this for the money. It's all. Bro, yes. Lil Wayne is an icon. He's a legend. Cool. Everybody can't have their moment at the same damn time. Let Kendrick have his. This is so stupid. For the love of me. I hate everybody. So Nicki Minaj <laughs> did not hold back. And we know Jay-Z is kind of private. You don't see him going online, renting on. You know, you yeah, don't he really not know his respond personal to business like that. So for her to put things out there very blatantly, okay, she did not care. And it's like... If you're going to spill some tea, spill it all. Like, what? Because I didn't know he had beef with, with Lil Wayne. I, I have not heard of that. Let me know if I'm missing something. Let me know if y'all have been aware of this being a thing. Lil Wayne having an issue or a Jay-Z having an issue with Lil Wayne. Like, that just seems so left field. So if you're going to spill some tea, spill it all. What happened to lead up to that? I'm, I'm confused. Why would he have beef with Wayne? She called this man evil and spiteful, but she wasn't the only one feeling some type of way. Master P also had something to say. He says, salute to Kendrick Lamar for performing at the halftime show is Super Bowl 59 well deserved. He's one of the highest. If it's well deserved, then leave it at that. And he has one of the biggest songs right now. As an ambassador of entertainment in the city of New Orleans, I have to agree with the fans that Lil Tucci, Lil Wayne should be part of the celebration as well. He's one of the greatest hip hop artists alive, still relevant, and he's a New Orleans native. Let's not miss the cultural moment. When has that been a requirement, though, for somebody to perform and headline the Super Bowl? When has that been? I've never heard this discussion being had that, oh, it has to be someone who's a legend from this state. Like, that's never been a discussion. I've never heard that. I'm sure some people have said it, obviously, but I'm just speaking as far as general discussions being had. I've never heard that. So, life is this is just short. a slight kindred. Flowers while bro. They are here. Hashtag this beef has caused a lot of weird shit, bro. Us, this Kendrick and Drake and also beef. Has something to say. Oh my he god! Said, All y'all acting like y'all cool with how they playing it for the Super Nobody Bowl. Nobody is acting like they cool. The Everybody most talking shit. City in the USA, New Orleans. It's a smack in the face to every hip hop legend from Louisiana. Master P, Birdman. This shows that's that not what the Super Bowl does. Are y'all dumb? When has that ever been with the... Never wanted y'all to kick in the door in the first place because they still trying to lock it. Super Bowl 22 was in Cali and Cali artists were allowed to do their thing and it was a great show. But now it's in Louisiana. It was a lot of non-Cali artists as well. Do they thing. Hashtag I don't respect. Now what's adding to the fire is it's a clip going around of Lil Wayne being asked if he will perform at the Super Bowl. Yeah, I just saw it. It seemed like he was really excited and he was really looking well, he didn't to get picked. being chosen to perform at the 2025 Super Bowl. Take a look. What you do to Super Bowl? Honestly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I gotta ask. You gotta, I'm just asking a question, Wayne. I know, I know the answer, but I gotta ask. Yeah, the Super Bowl is in New Orleans. Um, I think it's in 2025 or something. Like that. He doing it? I'm not sure. Not, I'm not, I'm hey, not sure. Come on, man. Sure and they said you forgetting lyrics and shit. You ain't performing well, and you not in perfect health. I don't say perfect. They saying you ain't in good health. No, I don't. They know. I, I can. I will not lie to you. I have not, I have not got a call. Hey, Jay, <laughs> like come that, on, that, I'm so, Jay. But we all praying. You know, we praying. We keeping our fingers crossed. I'm working hard. I'm gonna make sure this next album and everything I do is killer. So I'm gonna make it very hard for them. To, I want to just make it hard for them not to not to the board. Now on the other end of the argument, mm. people are like, "Wait a minute! This is selective outrage because." New Orleans has hosted the Super Bowl numerous times. And Hello. No Wayne, nor did anybody get upset that he was not headlined. Now, in 2002, the Super Bowl was in New Orleans and you two headlined. Nobody was upset. Nobody but cared. You know why? Because it was a white group. You two is a group, right? It was, it was white people. So they like, okay, it's fine. But let it, when it's another black person, it's, oh, 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 oh. it's that crab in the barrel fucking mentality. Because I feel like if it was a big white artist, nobody would be saying shit. And, and it doesn't matter if oh, well, it's in the same genre. It doesn't matter. Super Bowl, Super Bowl, artists are artists. Okay, period. Nobody would have said nothing. But because it's another black man and it's a rap artist, it's like, well, you picked the wrong black. I want to be the black. Man. Let's pick this black. Like this, it's, it's just so goofy and ignorant. I can't stand this conversation. I hate everybody. <laughs> 
All right? Because, yeah, was, was y'all talking that shit then? Were you two performing? No. Wasn't performing or any New Orleans artist at all. In Hello. And that's usually how it is at Super Bowls. What the fuck? They're not keeping in mind. Who's the great in this state? Let's pick them to represent for their state. Nobody is saying that. Nobody cares about that. Because the Super Bowl, is, is it, it goes across all states and cities. Like, people travel long distances to go to the Super Bowl. It don't matter what city or state it's in at the moment. Who cares? That's dumb. Beyonce headlined the halftime show. I said that in my video. Nobody cared that there were no New Orleans artists or Lil I said that in my video. But now it's video. outrage and people are like, where was all this outrage before all of this? Period. Other people feel like, well, just because the Super Bowl is in your city doesn't mean they're going to have a local artist perform. Hello, that's because not what it's about. All the other Super Bowl halftime shows have not been based on who's the hottest artist in the city. Exactly. They normally just pick popular artists. Hello. They like. Hello. Now, I also feel like what Are stupid? Barry and Nikki's back is there were rumors going around even before this that she has had a problem with Rock Nation for a while. So I think Girl, you worry about this album the that's coming out Friday. Made her say Make sure that shit on time. Say. Turn your songs on time. That's what you worry about. Because she doesn't too much care for them anyways. Okay, this is not Allegedly. your fight. But I do want to know, what do you feel? Do you feel like Nikki is justified in calling no. Jay-Z out because Lil Wayne did not perform? Do you think Jay-Z is being petty because he doesn't like Nikki, Birdman, or Drake? I don't think Jay-Z is the type of man who's going to put pettiness above business. He seems like he's going to put business over everything else. Okay? That, that, that's what he gives me. I don't think he's worried about no petty, oh, this beef and that beef and oh, this person, I don't like them. Who gives a fuck? That's not how niggas become billionaires. That's not how, be, how they get a lot of money is it, 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 focusing on stupid shit and putting that above money and what it makes the most sense business-wise. That's not how people get rich. So, y'all are... Stupid, everybody. So he's making a little <laughs> way pay. What do y'all think is really going on? Who do you think is right? And who do you think is wrong? Now, before she called Jay-Z out, she was on Station Head the night before oh. and thought that she was being shady towards Jay-Z then. But I'm going to play the clip. Sure. I want y'all to let me know what you think about that. Nikki, but that's all I have just for you. Just turn it up. motherfuckers is setting up to rob your ass. What? The person that gives them the little, you know what I'm saying, the inside scoop. Be a person close to you to know why. If you now you putting a filter on your voice to sound even crazier. I'm tired of her sounding like Myrtle from Harry Potter. I'm tired of hearing it. Do not lead with loyalty. Is it Moni Myrtle? What's her name? Morning. The bathroom chick. I'm tired of this. Have a shit, your own. Had there been loyalty? <laughs> this one is losing her body. I don't want this one in the pizza, I don't want to do it. Had there been loyalty, the loyalty pushes up everyone within that group, within that community, within that building. And niggas can't get in there to rob you. Because they really fuck with you. At a certain point, people just start doing everything at the wall to see what can stick because... A lot of times people are mad that, you know, they still even have to work or deal with the public at all. But sometimes greed pushes, you know, people to do many different things. But let me tell you something. No matter how much lipstick you put on a motherfucking pig, all right, this is. I can't keep trying to decipher this fucking card. Trying to sell people shit. Say what you gotta say. Talking about pigs and lipstick, girl. Don't piss me off. You ain't saying nothing. And then you taking fifty minutes between words. Sometimes people. <laughs> 
build themselves up based off of their connections and who they know rather than their own oneness with God. And that's dangerous. Never put your faith in man. Your faith is in God, okay? So when your whole existence is wrapped around someone else, well, you better open and pray that their time don't come, but it will. Oh, it will, it will. And everything attached to it. Okay? Because God will get the glory. What the fuck are you yeah. talking about, lady? Just go audition for Disney for a villain. Because that's what it gives every time. It just gives theater. It gives that you're acting. And I never know what the fuck she's talking about. So you could have kept that girl. But yeah, I already said everything I have to say. Like, this conversation is, is really dumb. People are just jealous. That's what it's giving. It's giving that y'all just want to hate on Kendra. You want to hate on the West Coast. And, and this is selective outrage because y'all wouldn't have said this if they announced that fucking Sabrina Carpenter or somebody was performing. You wouldn't have said shit. You wouldn't have said nothing. But because it's Kendrick, it's another black man. He doing his thing right now. Y'all want to go, mm, it shouldn't have been him. It should have been. What? What? This shit is so whack. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.